a free audiobook that was on special with a great narrator from a debut author. Welcome back to another edition of Drove Talks Audiobooks. Drove here. Today I'm going to be discussing Planet Side by Michael Mamey. This is his debut book narrated by the legendary R.C. Bray. This is a surprise. I got this as a free book during the Audible sale and, and the video that I have right there. The sale is now over, but these sales keep coming on and these books seem to always rotate in there. So just keep an eye out for those audiobook sales and you can count on me to let you know when, when they come about. But uh, this book was supposed to be my free book, and um, for my less patient viewers out there, highly recommend just go out there, go ahead and get it. It's a great book, even if you have to purchase it at full price or, or with one of those sacred credits, you will not be disappointed. R.C. Bray brings it, the author brings it, it's a really good book. But before we get into the story, let me just do a quick thank you to all the people out there that take the time from your day to view my videos. And if you're new to this channel, please do me a solid and hit that like and subscribe ring that bell to get notified especially if you're a fan of literature audiobooks especially and especially if you like the genres of military military sci-fi sci-fi fantasy lit rpg and horror uh, i do that seems to be the the genres i most rotate towards so yeah do me a solid so let's get back to planet side so on planet side you're following colonel butler and he's an investigative uh, military uh, official and he's basically involved in a missing persons case so he sent to this planet of kappa uh, to to investigate what happened to this individual now just a quick world building uh, summary in this universe humanity is actually we're, we're traveling the stars we're inhabiting all the habitable planets and any planet that's deemed unhabitable or desirable for its uh, minerals we actually send mining companies out there. We station a small military force, and we just remove all those military, uh, all those minerals. So Kappa is known for its abundance of silver. Now silver is important in this universe because that's what powers a lot of our technology. So this is a very sought after planet. But while we're there, we inhabit, we encounter uh, sentient species that we thusly name the Kappas. And at the beginning, uh, we don't want to just annihilate them. So we try to, you know, contact them and, and, and create kind of a treaty, which we do. But as, you know, humans being humans, we're over eager. We start mining way beyond and, and basically a civil war starts. So the Kappas themselves divide. You get renegades and you get Kappas that help us. And, and then we're fighting this war that has lasted about 40 years. So as Butler migrates to Space Command, which is actually a space station above Kappa, uh, most of the book takes place in the space station we find a military comprised of three components we have space com that's basically in charge of what i would call kind of like the army all the equipment and everything of that nature we got medcom that's in charge of all the medicine and all the doctors and and all that type of scenario and then we got the special forces that are predominantly on the planet side so each of these components um or, or these entities are contributed in some form or fashion to the dis disappearance of a senator's uh, son and and butler has no idea who to trust he, he don't know who's on his team he don't know who's against him and i don't really want to give away more to the story than that because there's a lot of twists and turns here and even some that i didn't anticipate and it's really good just experiencing it through what i can say is this book cli uh, the climax of this book is superb it, it is very intense, very suspenseful. You're left, how, how is this going to resolve? And then when it does resolve, it's it's a very heavy-handed resolution. And there's a weight. There's a weight felt to it, a weight felt to your characters, a sense of finality. And I do believe there's a second book in this, but this book could be its own book. I mean, you could just listen to this book or read this book and you'd be fine. I am going to definitely check out the second one because this is definitely one of those gems. So whenever those audible cells come out, do pay attention. There's some gems in there. And you can count on me to let you know when those cells are coming out. So again, like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can be in the loop whenever Audible is releasing one of these great cells. So I highly recommend Planet Side by Michael Mamey. Do yourself a favor and check it out. Have you listened to Planet Side? 
Am, did I hit it on the nose or am I way off? Comment below. And if not, is there a gem that you purchased a book or audio book and you, were, you purchased it for some reason, not necessarily because that book drew, drew your attention um, and you were completely taken away with how good it was? If, it, if you did, comment below and let me know so I can go ahead and check that book out as well. As always, this has been Dro Talks. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. That's three times I've said that now. Ring that bell to get notified, and we'll see you next time.